Hey guys, welcome back to the channel uh, for another WWE Supercard video. We're kicking off with some TBG rewards. Uh, we've got two. We've got a, a gold rewards coming up, consolation rewards. We did get over 10,000 points, but unfortunately it was not enough to win. Uh, the um, owner of the team we uh, participated against sent us a message saying, Oh, we're lucky. Um, a uh, really good game, which uh, I appreciated, and I, uh, no, I don't show you it here, but I did message back, um, thanking him for that. It was a good game, it was very close. So yeah, that was really nice. So, and we've got another one coming up. This is a Platinum one. Again, a very, very t close call. Team we faced, uh, Czech, Czech crew, Neon++ Plus Plus team, we battled really, really hard against them. We came out with a win. It's a platinum pack this time. Got two neons and a gothic. Gothic um, neon Big E. A gothic Randy Orton. Got the 2250 credits and Gren Matalik, which at the time I didn't realise was a pro, um, which we're about to uh, see here as well. Because I wasn't 100% sure. But yeah, um, Grand Metal League was a pro. I thought I showed it here. Yeah, there we go. Anyway, moving on to some regular fusions. We've got a Neon to kick us off. It's a Neon Alicia Fox. Unfortunately, it's not a page. Um, I did I did want a page because that would have been a pro. Uh, now we're going to go for a Gothic. Doing them in this order for a reason, don't you worry. And we got the new Daniel Bryan. The current WWE champion, and we're gonna pop in a uh, neon. As you can see, we use the Alicia Fox to start a shattered one. So we're using Daniel Bryan to do another neon, activating that, and there we go. Here are those. Right now, we're kicking off with the last of the Lovers Leap fusions, otherwise known as the Valentine's ones. This one's a Gothic Jimmy Uso, which was very nice. Doesn't do anything for any of the decks. Uh, next one. We have got quite a few of these to go through, just so you know, guys. Uh, it's a Titan Shaw Michaels. Thing is, this was free, mostly. And uh, it was really good to get some of the old images that I missed out on. And uh, next one. We've got a Neon Alistair Black. Another single. Again, doesn't do anything for the team deck, but... It's good. It's that's really good. You're never going to turn a neon down in this. Okay, this next part, guys. Um, we had a bit. You had a few credits to spend, so uh, we um, went and did that. So he kicked off this bit with an elite Eddie Guerrero. You see, we just finished these straight away. This was literally like a day before the um, fusion stopped. Uh, so SummerSlam 17, Daniel Bryan. Next one, here it comes, yeah, Monster Lana, I believe that's a new image, most of these were new images, Shaman didn't actually get any hardened ones as well, next one, I think this is the last one of this part, that's another Titan Shaw Michael, so that's a pro, and we pops in some more, so here comes the, um, an ultimate one and this is a cracker absolutely great it's a shattered Eric Young which again is a single it doesn't do much for any of the decks but it's shattered a shattered it's cracking and this one I did, I put this one last because this was the very last of the fusions so here we go here it is it's a gothic Naomi which is a pro and we're currently working on that in the Raw Rumble. So, um, I'm really happy with that. Yeah, spoiler alert, because I have named this video uh, First Season 5 Female Pros. Um, you can see, spoiler on the screen, um, one of them is Neon Carmella. Uh, the Naomi one is not what we're doing in the video. That is, there is another one. I will leave that until the end to tell you. But anyway, we're moving on now to Over the Limit. Now, what I'm going to show you is just a... F uh, this is the quest 
for Over the Limit, which uh, came out literally as the uh, game mode came back. I believe it was Wednesday night UK time. There was a little glitch where um, you only had to do one of the challenges to get the reward. Uh, one of the guys in the team actually did that and got the reward straight away. It's a guaranteed shattered. So um, we're doing the last of those quests now. So I believe it was a level of card, uh, five levels. Uh, the one I just did was get a thousand points in over the limit. And now I'm doing this one, which is going undefeated in 10 Money in the Bank games. So we're attempting to do it here. I'm really sorry that I did not skip through these. So we're just going <laughs> to sit and wait through this, unfortunately, guys. Uh, Money in the Bank, I mean, I do like it sometimes because it is good for picks. Mainly for Last Man Standing. It's really good for... Um, getting reveals and blocks off the board uh, I remember spending about six seven thousand worth of money in the bank contracts just to help me towards the Randy Orton uh, Goliath card I think the last time I actually got a card from money in the bank it wasn't an event it wasn't like the top tier card so I didn't spend a massive amount of credits I think it was maybe the monster Charlotte when that was there but I honestly can't remember you can see I'm using some old images here. I mean, I do like the title images, don't get me wrong. Like right, Seamus with the US title. Uh, the common card of Buddy Murphy with the uh, NXT Tag Team title. Well, we didn't know he had the NXT Tag Team title until SummerSlam 18 tier came out where the images were noticeably smaller on the actual cards. So there we go. Anyway, final match. Obviously we're using Eddie against him because he's one of the best cards in Neon tier. Here we go. So I'm pretty sure Eddie will win. Yeah, he's won. There we go. There we go. Sorry about the background noise, guys. There we go. So that's done. That's a quest completed. And we're just going into this now. We're going to claim the battle points first. 100 battle points doesn't really do a lot, to be honest. There we got the credits for the um, 1,000 points in Over the Limit. And now here's the big one, guys. So this one is a guaranteed shattered card. And then enhancements from SummerSlam 18 to shattered. So we've got... Some slow thing. Obviously, here's the shattered coming up. See it bouncing. It's Elias. So it's, it's a single. That's fair enough. And then two gothic enhancements. Fair enough. There we go. Okay, so we've got a little bit of um, tips here for you guys. Um, for me, I'm not using. But this is where I am at the minute. We've just got the shattered, and Cesaro was the target because he was a pro. But at this minute, at this moment in time, I honestly don't think I'm going to get him. Um, so I don't tend to stack that many uh, hype before I put it in uh, the amplifier. As you can see, there's boosters just like the ones in Team Battleground. So we're just going to use these. Obviously, you want to get the uh, bonus tile. That's um, quite handy because it du doubles the amount of amplifier you've already got. Plus, it doubles what you can achieve as well. So, um, I would recommend using the reveals. So, there we go. We've got the bonus. So, that 11 will turn to 22. And all the numbers on the screen will double as well. So, there you go. You obviously want the hundreds. The hun getting the hundreds is really good. I've got the tens, which is just bad. Uh, it's quite easy to get uh, amp amplify points, uh, hype, whatever you want to call it. Uh, you can, um, well, I, I've played a lot of Royal Rumble. I'm using a lot of money in the bank contracts as well. See, we're out at the moment. Not enough contracts. So, yeah, a um, little bit stuck sometimes, but, you know, a wild match would normally get you at least one normally. Sometimes you can go a couple of games without getting one, but. Yeah, I mean, it's not that hard. It's just you have to be lucky with some of the, um, with, uh, some of the, um, 
bonus points, getting the bonus star and some of the points you get because it could be anything from 5 to 50 or 10 to 100 so there we go right now we're moving on to the finale which is the pro females I'm not going to spoil this one for you until you see it on screen but it's Nia Jax Gothic um, you might have already guessed this because Nia Jax was a TBG reward I think in the last video so there we go both cards were leveled and now she's a pro so we're just going to train her up and there we go she should be finished there we go so um, I, I don't really expect this to do much for the deck um, obviously it is slightly better than the um, <coughs> excuse me slightly better than the um, Oscar event card uh, the shattered single uh, so yeah, it really hasn't done much for the, the deck at all. I mean, it's just literally replaced Maria Canellis shattered <coughs> and gone above Oscar. But here's the main one. We've got uh, the Neon Carmella. Obviously, you did. It was a bit spoiled uh, early on in the video. But there you go. Both cards were leveled. As you can see, Grand Metalik. There we still got to pro. More than likely, that will be in the next video, guys. So there we go, Carmella. We're just going to level this one up. Using the AJ Styles Gothic card, which is pointless to me now. So there we go. I believe she's completely done. 80, there we go. And then we're just going to use these. I don't really want to put any on power. And there we go, Carmella is done. And we're just going to double check what that does for the deck. It's moved up a little bit. It's moved up a bit. It'll be better when we have another neon female, maybe. But there we go. That's it for today's video, guys. Please, if you did enjoy it, please drop a like, share, and subscribe. I will see you in the next one. Thank you very much. Goodbye.